Okay, folks, so this is the third video in the series um, for students in the FOR 105 and 106 classes that's going to go over how to create your lab notebook, how to update your lab notebook as you do your labs this semester, and then this video is going to go over how to actually submit your lab notebook uh, for assignment submission when you're done with the lab. Um, so, uh, again, this video applies to both the FOR 105 and 106 classes, but for, for this video, I'm, I'm using the FOR 106 class as an example. So let's say that you're working through your modules in your FOR 106 class, and as you've worked through the module, you've taken your quiz, you've done your assignments, let's say maybe you're working through module number two, and then let's say you've completed this crime scene sketching lab. So you, you had clicked on the lab, you had, you had opened up the, the, the lab instructions, you copied the, the pre-lab questions, um, and you answered them in your lab notebook. You copied the post-lab questions, you answered them in your notebook. You, you entered your results, and so you're ready to submit your assignment. So, so what I have open here is in Canvas, I have what's referred to as the student view. So this is what you would see as a student as you open this assignment. It looks a little different than what I see as a teacher. But you're, you're, you finished your lab notebook. So if we open up our lab notebook, let's say we've updated everything. You know, we included, uh, again, if we were working on the crime scene sketching lab, we've added the crime scene sketching lab title to our table of contents. We've indicated what page numbers it is in our notebook. Uh, in terms of the lab, the book, the section of our notebook for this lab, we made sure that the title of the lab's at the top. We made sure we included the pre-lab questions. We answered those pre-lab questions. We included the results. Uh, we made sure that we incorporated everything in the results that needed to be there. Could be photos, could be data, could be a sketch like we see here. We've copied the post-lab questions. We answered the post-lab questions. We made sure all the headings, post-lab questions, results, pre-lab questions, we made sure those headings are in bold. We made sure that the, you know, the page numbers are present. Uh, we made sure that in the top right-hand corner of every page of our lab, uh, we've put the date and initials. So we have our initials. Again, if my name's John Smith, I would put JS. And then the date that I created those pages, I want to make sure that that's in the top right-hand corner. So basically, my lab is ready to submit. All right. If we go back to the assignment in Canvas, we want to look down here where it says assignment submission instructions. It says to submit this activity for a grade and course credit, you will submit your updated lab notebook to your instructor by copying the URL for the notebook and pasting it in the submission text box for this assignment. Um, now, this is actually the second lab for this class. So uh, if this was the first lab for this class, in fact, the instructions I'm going to record for this video are for the first time you submit your lab notebook because there's actually two things you need to do. Um, the first thing you need to do as you're submitting your lab notebook the first thing you need to do, especially if this is the first time you're submitting your lab notebook to me, you actually have to share that notebook with me as your instructor. So whenever you have a Google document, in the top right-hand corner, you're going to be able to click this box that says Share. And in the instructions for your very first lab, it tells you that you need to share this document with me as your instructor. And so when we open up the Share tab, there's this box that says, who do you want to share it with? And so it says, add people and groups. Well, you want to share it with me as your instructor. So if you type my email address, brett.little, L-I-T-T-L-E, at phoenixcollege.edu and click done, it's going to share it with me. And you want to make sure that when you do share it with me, uh, it's going to give you the option to share it with me to view only or more importantly, I want you to make sure you share it with me so that I click me as an editor. And so I need to be able to have editing privileges to look at your notebook because what that allows me to do is it allows me to look at every version of your notebook. Um, so for example, uh, if I want to look at the version of your notebook from last week or two weeks ago, I can click actually right here where it says right here editing and it actually gives me a version history. You can see how when, when you've updated it, it allows me to, to take a look at the version of your notebook when you submitted it to me. So it's important you give me the editing privileges. In addition, it allows me to, to make comments on your lab notebook. So as I'm, as I'm looking at your lab notebook to grade it, I might click this little box which allows me uh, to make a comment. Um, and so it, it allows me to, if there's something wrong with your notebook, for example, I might write, you know, hey, the page 
numbers are incorrect for this lab. And so when you go to open up, so incorrect for this lab. So when you go to open up your lab notebook later on, after I've graded it, you can actually take a look at these comments I've made and then make changes as necessary. If you don't give me editing privileges when you share the document with me, I, I can't actually do those things. And I have to be able to do those things in order to properly grade your assignment. So the first thing you need to do to submit this lab notebook to me is again, you're going to click on share. And then again, here, you're going to need to type my email address and then share it with me. All right. So that's the first thing you need to do. And you only need to do that the very first time you share your lab notebook with me on the very first lab assignment. For the rest of the lab assignments, what you need to do instead, if we go back to the instructions here, it says that for submission, it says that you need to uh, submit the URL for the notebook and paste it in the submission text box. So let's go back to our lab notebook. If we click share, notice there's a thing that says get link. That's what I mean is the URL for this Google Docs. So you're going to click get link. And here's important. You need to make sure that when you share this link with me that it's not restricted. You actually need to click on this little arrow and you need to click where it says anyone with link. That, that allows anybody who has the link that you share to be able to open up that Google document. So once you've changed that, then click where it says copy link. Click that. Then you can click done. And so it's copied the link and then now we're going to submit that. So if we go back to our assignment in Canvas, we're going to click this box that says submit assignment. Click submit assignment. And then what we're going to do is the we have this text box here. It says text entry, text box. What we're going to do is we're going to paste that link we just copied. So if you if you click here and you right click, we're going to go paste, and then it, it copy it actually pastes rather that URL or that link for your Google document. And then once you're done, just hit submit, and you've now submitted your assignment for that lab. All right. And so you can see that you have this little check mark indicates, yep, definitely submitted it. Tells me the date and time you submitted it. So, so that's how you actually submit your assignment. The first step of this process, the one where we did the share and we typed in my email address, you will only need to do that for your very first lab. For all your remaining labs, you will simply need to do that second part where we copy the link and we paste it in the, in the text box. So for the first lab, we need to do both things. We need to share it and we need to copy the link. For all your remaining labs, all you need to do is copy the link. Now, one last thing for this video, I wanted to go through quickly with you um, how I grade your labs. So if we, let's, let's take a look back at that lab we were just looking at, which was that crime scene sketching lab in module two. If we click on that, you'll notice at the bottom here, here's the rubric that I use as I grade your lab. So every lab is worth 30 points. And so as I grade your lab, you'll see that 10 points uh, for your lab is just based on organization. Uh, that means things like, did you include page numbers on the tops of every page? Did you include your initials and the date at the top right-hand corner of every page? Did you include the title of the lab? Did you update your table of contents? Did, are the page numbers in your table of contents correct? All that kind of organizational formatting stuff, as long as that's done correctly, yeah, that's worth 10 points. Five points are that you answered all the pre-lab questions and that you got those answers correct. Um, so pre-lab questions, five points. Notice the post-lab questions, you answered those questions, that's worth five points. And then your results, so the, the data you have to enter, your, your charts, your photographs, things like that, that's worth 10 points. Now, I wanted to reference really quick in terms of results, it's important that when you're including charts, or tables or graphs or photographs, you need to label those. So you need to type a label so I know what it is. Don't just slap a photograph in your results section and then not type out what that photograph happens to be. All right, so, so that's how you actually submit your lab notebook uh, each week. Uh, and, and again, double check, make sure everything is on there. So before you actually submit it, open your lab notebook, you know, make sure the page numbers are there, make sure you've updated your table of contents, you know, make sure you've included the title, uh, make sure you've labeled all your photographs and graphs and things. And then, again, follow that procedure for actually sharing uh, your notebook and actually rather for copying and pasting the link for your notebook. So that's how you actually share or submit your notebook every single week as you complete your labs.